We're going to go ahead and have our moment of silence, uh, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Good job, guys. I heard you nice and loud. Very nice. Okay, 4.0, the approval of the agenda. President Reese. Mrs. Whitener. I move that we approve tonight's agenda. I second. Okay. All right, any discussions on the agenda? Questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries 5-0. 5.0, superintendent's report. Dr. Thomason. Good evening, President Reese, members of the board. At this time, I would like to invite to the podium uh, Michelle Reese to have some special recognitions tonight. Michelle? Good evening, Madam President, members of the board, superintendency, and all of our wonderful Higley families here tonight. I have two special administrators I'd like to call up first to do some school and department awards. So could Mr. Dolan please come forward? I'm going to first start with uh, the help we get from our parents. people who do know what's going on and, and can kind of support me and say, hey, this is what we're willing to do for people. This is what we can do. Um, and so thank you for thank being you. here. The second would be a staff member and um, Miss Miss Donna Casano. Um, besides classroom, what she does in the classroom and, and how wonderful she is for, for kids, we push the importance of accountability, rigor in our class, and, and if you walk into Mrs. Casaro's class, you're going to see all of that stuff happening. But probably one of the biggest things she's taken on is taking on a leadership role for us in our big push for mindset. Uh, last year it was started, we want to continue it this year in every single professional development her and two other staff members are willing to put on skits, other things that kind of just push the importance for our kids to realize it's okay to fail forward. You're going to learn from your mistakes, and I just appreciate you so much. So thank you. jack of all trades, I really do mean that. Uh, she is in our, uh, our library or tech building, but to students, she is 
hey, I, I need help with my iPad. Hey, I don't know where my class is. Um, I need to pay this fee. I need my uniform. Uh, I need this. Whatever you need, if you can't find it, all you need to do is talk to Elita and she'll find it for you. So willing to help in, in any area. Uh, she volunteers for things. She, you know, we'll have conversations and as I said, I mean, this is new to me too and she is so willing to help me. Um, and also willing to say, hey, did you ever think of something this way? And I so appreciate that, so thank you very much. Two stories. First story is that this young lady is our student body president. Uh, you know, that's just a, kind of a big deal because we talk about leadership on our campus and she's a leader on our campus. But to me, probably the most powerful story for me is I went to talk to her band instructor, uh, Mrs. Warrells, and she said, wow, Mercy was so excited, but she came to me, she didn't know what to do because she had a band concert tonight. She didn't know if she should go to the concert or come here. And she, talking to Ms. Warrells, she just said, how wonderful is for someone to think about, hey, I have this other obligation this is a great honor, but this is this other obligation. Uh, so I am so honored that you kind of think of your studies first, but congratulations. Thank you for everything you do for our school. Thank you very much. As you know, with our points of pride, in addition to honoring our schools, we do honor a department each time we have an opportunity to do this. And I'd like to invite Robert Schropp up. server infrastructure point. Even though these benefits may not be immediately noticed in the classroom from a visual standpoint, the overall health, speed, and longevity of the network is noticeable as we add more and more technology to the classroom. Last but not least, 
Nick's customer service is unsurpassed, and several staff members have commented on his exceptional follow through on tasks, as well as keeping them in the loop on issues that may take longer than usual. Congratulations, Nick. Thank you for all you do. It's well deserved. Quite the job. Tonight we also have the opportunity to honor a student. Um, each year thousands of Arizona students take the ACT and in Higley we have a very special one. Miss Nancy Diep. Scott, can you please come forward? <laughs> Good evening, President Reese, members of the Governing Board, Cabinet, and fellow community members. I'm extremely excited to be up here today to speak about one of our wonderful, truly um, hardworking, probably has one of the best smiles I've ever met, uh, seen in my entire life because she just brightens an entire room. But I want to talk a little, give you guys a little bit of a stati some statistics behind this. According to the ACT, the average ACT score is a 20.8 out of 36. And only one-tenth of 1% 1 of students who take the assessment receive a perfect score. Our amazing student, Brooke Lindsay, is one of only 24 students out of more than 36,285 students who have taken the ACT who earned this perfect score. So I would like to have Brooke please come on up. We are also presenting her with a I am Higley because she truly represents Higley and our school district and our high school of what it means and exemplifies what a true student should be. Absolutely. And I'd like to recognize her mother. I have to tell you guys a funny story, which is really quick. I'm very, very quick. But I ran into her at um, our kingdom day came up and gave me the letter about um, Brooke, and it was really my first opportunity to meet Brooke, and I literally started crying and tearing up at Kingdom Day because I'm so excited for her. And her um, friend used to go to Stanford and study law, and so among that, I'm sure some other adults also, and to me, that's just truly, truly Thank you. 
We have a lot to celebrate tonight, and I'd like to invite Mr. Aaron Harris, Director of Program Compliance, forward. Good evening, President Reese, members of the Governing Board, Dr. Thomason, Cabinet members, administration, Higley family. Thank you again for coming out this evening. Uh, tonight, we will recognize a special group of students uh, here in the Higley Unified School District. When I accepted the position, I wanted to know from our ELL staff some of the things that we were working on and some of the things that they wanted to make sure would happen during the 2016-2017 school year and recognizing our students who scored proficient on the spring 2016 Azella exam was one thing that they really wanted to do this school year. So I just want to give a round of applause first before we even call names to all the students in our program. We currently have over 100 students in our program. 42 students tested proficient in the spring of 2016, and 19 of those students are here this evening. So again, thank you, students and families. Thank you, administration and staff, for your support. Our students in our program, they represent over 25 languages that are spoken across the world. It's an amazing fact that you probably did not know. Our students not only are here for the entire school day, but they receive an additional four hours of English language instruction in the area of writing, grammar, oral English vocabulary and vocabulary, sorry, oral English speaking and vocabulary, conversational English, I apologize. And so that's in addition to the subject of content areas that they have to master each and every day. So it's quite an accomplishment. So at this time, I'd like to call our ELD staff uh, to the front. And we're very informal. So this is Heather, number one, Lorian, number two, Mina, number three, Jessica, number four, and Miriam, number five. So Lorian will call names. Uh, please feel free to uh, come on up and uh, give a round of applause for the students and their achievement. Lorian's a great orator. So I'm going to turn it over to her at this time. Thank you, everyone. Again, thank you, Governing Board, for the opportunity. And afterwards, I do apologize. We will have cookies and light refreshments in our uh, workroom for the families and students and administration if you care to join us. Thank you. Can we please have Leah Tang? Hussein Fatuni. <laughs> Davni Maris Bautista. <laughs> Abigail Kim. Natalia Avitia. Jonathan Carrillo Bolivar. Giovanni Roman Santiago. Jason Nguyen. Congratulations. We'll go from there. Ila Wang. Jack Lin. Adrian Vasquez. Victoria Martinez. Congratulations. Michelle Trin. Brian Trin.
Anastasia Hernandez Silva. Congratulations. Noe Alvarado. Congratulations. Alejandro Garcia Ruiz. Vince Hagland. Jillian Luke. Goche Osterk. Thank you. I think so. Yes. Okay, thank you, President Reese, Dr. Thomason. At this time, families, uh, please follow us out. We will have light refreshments. Again, thank you, Higley family, staff, and administration. Thank you so much. Yeah. So far, we don't have, we don't have any re requests. President Reese, members of the board. That is always my favorite part of the board meetings when we get to see the kids and, and celebrate their successes. Um, we do have some exciting events coming up this week. Uh, tonight we do have uh, the college night at Williamsfield High School. That does go on till eight o'clock tonight. So I would encourage you if you have time to go ahead and stop by there. Saturday, um, we have the Ken Vandehei Golf Tournaments that'll be taking place 
um, down the street starts at 6.30 in the morning and should go till 12.30 in the afternoon. And then the next board meeting would be Wednesday, September 28th, uh, 5.30 for the work study and 6.30 for the board meeting. And that would uh, be the updates for the superintendent's report at this time. President Reese. Thank you. I know it's kind of a bummer that uh, college night's the same night, but our board meetings are scheduled like a year in advance, so just happened to fall on the same night. Sossman has a band concert tonight too, like they were saying, so it's kind of a bummer. Um, I appreciate y'all being here. <laughs> Uh, for board comments, um, in our work study, I had mentioned that Mrs. Whitener, myself, um, Dr. Thomason did attend uh, Arizona School Board Association Conference. Um, it did focus on law, but it did have several breakout sessions that we're really excited about. So um, we're looking forward to bringing that information forward to our other board members and um, seeing where we can make some improvements. So it was it was really good. And I know for me, I attended the Higley High School uh, football game on Friday night, as well as Williams Field for homecoming. That was fun. So to see Miss Diab Scott do her push-ups, we'll, we'll see where it stays. Mr. Watovich needs to quit putting me as a challenger to her. <laughs> So, anyone else have any board comments? President Reese, uh, members of the board, um, we're going to bring back one of the students um, that we neglected to give a certificate to. He's here with his mom, so if that's okay, um, we'll go ahead and do the, that recognition. He needs extra, you get extra your cookies. Very own party here. <laughs> Good evening, President Reese, members of the board, Dr. Thomason, cabinet members, Higley community. Again, at this time, we will call Ms. Lorian uh, to the mic, and she will award this young, fine young man here who reclassified and is no longer an ELL student in the program. So congratulations, Mom. Thank you for joining us. Congratulations, young man. This is Amari Ametovic. So no other board comments. That was. Nice. Just wanted to wish the Spartans on their concert tonight. Yeah. Mr. Little and I both have children who are in the band, and sometimes things are not always scheduled, at, you know, on purpose, or they don't always work out. But just wanted to let the Spartan band we know that we sure uh, hope they're playing strong. And their next concert, I want to say, is like December 15th or something like that. We did receive an invitation, so I'll I said sure I would be there. It is not a board, board meeting, meeting night. I did already check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and go on to 6.0, request to speak to the governing board. I don't have any requests at this time. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and move on. 7.0, consent agenda. 
President Reese. Mr. Little. I move that we approve uh, consent agenda item 7.0 through 7.10. Support. Any questions, comments, concerns regarding the consent agenda? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries 5-0 to approve the consent agenda. We don't have any old business. 9.0, action and information items. We're gonna go ahead and go on to 9.1. Um, it is an informational item for the monthly governing board financial report for August. Does anyone have any questions for Mr. Holland? This is a financial report that gets emailed to the board for us to look and see um, where we're at at the end of each month. So we appreciate the time that it takes to put it together and we certainly appreciate the information. Nothing else? All right, 9.2. The first read and possible adoption of amendment of policy EBAA, reporting of hazards warning system. Linda, can I just move on that, that piece? All right, I'm, I make the motion. Support. All right, any questions? Comments? What are your thoughts? Just a second. <laughs> Nothing? Okay. Do we apply a lot of pesticide? Do we apply a lot of pesticide on the different campuses? Well, budget constraints. We obviously don't, <laughs> we don't spray a lot of weeds, pesticides. <laughs> I know that for each of our schools it's posted the that they do use a pesticide that it's when it's applied things like that okay. so. president race so how would you provide the oral notification to pupils during it is posted at each site um, that before we we um, spray it is also a company that we hire to do it says for, for all the sites within the district. So we do have a company that comes out on a regular basis. We know in advance it's scheduled on a monthly basis to to spray for for bugs and for weeds and, and in that aspect. We do the weeds ourselves internally, um, but for the the pests, the the bug sprays, we do have someone that comes out and does that on a regular basis. And keeping in mind that the this adoption, it's just amending our current policy. So we are changing it from there's one place that it says that we would provide continuing instruction for students um, that we would provide a, an oral notification um, to students and employees during the regular school session um, so it's just taking out that that first sentence and then um, on another one it's just removing that we would post it um, We'd post the area scheduled to receive pesticide application to provide written electronic or telephone notification. So um, it's just updating that process and then removing the uh, written record. So it's just, I'm assuming, wording. That is correct. And um, we do also keep uh, a log at every one of the offices within the school sites. So if something were to occur, a student gets sick the next day or the next following days, we could take a look back at the log to see the last time um, the school was sprayed. And it was applied. So I, Linda, I know we get on this one all the time. So I would like to just go ahead and make the adoption. Do I need to change my motion to Okay, Approved. so do I need to amend my motion then? Okay, so I would like to waive the second read and approve the amendment of policy EBAA, the reporting of hazards or warning systems. Second. All right. 
So any anything else on that one? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So the motion carries 5-0 that we will adopt that amendment. And 9.3, it's also a first read and a possible adoption of amendment policy JC, which is school attendance areas. And I move that we, mm -hmm. we uh, do that. <laughs> it's one of those nights. Does anyone have, um, I need a second, sorry. Second. Uh, President Reese, the um, amendment is being put through, proposed, because of a statutory amendment. So we're just aligning to the statute. Okay. Perfect. Anyone have any questions on it? No. Okay. Then. Um, we would like to waive the second read and approve the amendment of policy JC, which is school attendance areas, to um, change the, the wording for statutory reasons. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Sorry. Motion carries 5 0. All right. So we're at 10.0. And I. 10.1 is to go into executive session. So I move pursuant to ARS 38-431.03A7 that the governing board um, may vote to convene into executive session to consider the board's position and instruct its representative regarding negotiations for the purchase of real property. I make that motion. Second. Mrs. Ford, second. Yes. Any questions before we go? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Did I get all five? Yeah. All right. Okay. Aye. Sorry. Aye. Then we are going to recess into executive session. President Weiss, members of the board, if it so pleases the board, I would like to allow the rest of the cabinet to go ahead and leave for the night. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. So, okay, we are now reconvening in public meeting. 11.1, I move that we table the um, approval of an agreement for the purchase of a parcel of land for a future school site. Second. Any questions, comments, concerns? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries 5-0 to table 11.1. Uh, future agenda items, we're going to talk about high school guidance counseling program. Anything we'll add the future agenda for, or President work Reese, study for? We um, have code of conduct and discipline study. Yes, we'll add that on there for work study. Anything else that we need to add? And then, one last time, we'll bring Dr. Mallerwine back. He will be first mm -hmm. in two weeks for our work study so we can move on. All right. I move that we adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good night.